globally. Consumers spent close to $400 billion on electric vehicles in 2022, and 1 million new EVs are anticipated to be added to U.S. roads this year. From 2023 to 2027, automotive companies have committed $616 billion in total investments in EVs, according to consulting firm Alex Partners. And yet, electric vehicles are piling up at dealership lots. Welcome to Trade Tales TV. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. Now let's move on. The Transportation of Tomorrow Despite the fact that fuel-powered motors have historically been preferred because of their greater energy storage and range, concerns about their environmental impact in the late 20th century led people to start looking at electricity-powered solutions. While fully battery-powered electric cars, which only use energy stored in onboard batteries, have increasingly become an acceptable option in the consumer market starting in the 2010s, the recharging requirement remains an issue. In an effort to direct long-term automotive supply and demand toward environmentally friendly transport options, governments have frequently stepped in to offer financial incentives for EV purchasing and manufacturing. Government incentives for EV adoption have grown steadily over the past three decades, with large markets like the US and EU commencing efforts in the 2000s, later followed by developing economies such as China and India. For many years, producers and consumers adopting qualified electric drive motor vehicles have been offered tax credits from both the federal and state governments of the United States. Some states, like California, have even gone so far as to provide HOV lane access for EVs operated by a single occupant. President Biden set a goal for 50% of all new car sales in the United States to be electric by 2030 and designated increased EV adoption as a substantial element of his investing in America agenda. However, despite increasing environmental awareness and policy pressures, consumer demand has not always followed suit. Wavering Consumer Demand the industry currently has an oversupply of electric vehicles, which is a result of government and car maker investment regardless of decreasing customer demand. While most American consumers view adopting EVs as an inevitability, their anxieties relating to the range that the battery can produce and a lack of public charging infrastructure still induce uncertainties over dependability. The COVID-19 pandemic decreased the need for regular personal transportation, giving consumers more freedom to switch to electric vehicles. However, since all workers must now report back to work and pandemic limits are no longer a significant external variable, internal combustion engine cars continue to be the most dependable mode of transportation. A Pew Research Center survey in July revealed that Americans are not very confident that the United States will develop the essential EV infrastructure, such as vital charging stations, dampening enthusiasm that the Biden administration's EV goals will be met on time. However, pricing is still a barrier to the use of electric vehicles. In September 2023, Cox Automotive reported that the average transaction price for a vehicle in the United States was approximately $48,000, and the price range for electric vehicles was between $53,000 and $60,000. Because their auto industry has produced internal combustion engines for much longer than it has for EVs, and because the EV supply chain is still inflexible, the cost of manufacturing EVs is typically higher than that of producing gasoline-powered vehicles. While 86% of U.S. car buyers were considering an EV in 2021, that percentage dropped to 67% in 2023, according to S&P Global Mobility. Effects on the auto industry The auto industry has to deal with the standard issue, which is the need to boost supply to keep up with evolving demand. In May 2021, Ford began reservations for their all-electric F-150 Lightning model, However, due to excess supply, bookings were closed by the end of the year. In September 2023, Ford said that it was increasing manufacturing of its hybrid F-150s in response to lower-than-expected sales of the Lightning. Finally, even though there were fewer EV buyers in 2023 than in 2021, there were still more than in 2019. Understanding that a gradual shift towards electricity-powered vehicles is still probable, 
Individuals and businesses alike should note that it will likely occur over a longer period than analysts and policymakers predict. Meanwhile, greater hybrid vehicle production and purchasing could generate a slew of new opportunities in the short to medium term. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comments section. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed the technological deep dive and learned something new. If you did, smash that like button and drop a comment below to share your thoughts and to make sure you don't miss out on future tech explorations. Subscribe to Trade Tales TV. Until next time, keep innovating and exploring the ever-expanding world of technology.